What's up guys, it's Oblivion Guy with Pitmar and the Thousand Year Door episode 5, and this time I'm doing it live, rhyming on accident. In the last episode, we went to the Thousand Year Door and we got our map updated, but now we're going to kind of do a little side questing, you know. So, first thing we got to do is, I've actually, well, my brother discovered that there's this really hidden badge somewhere down in the sewers. So, just because this, uh, well, other LPers I've seen that have done this game haven't really discovered it, so I guess I'll go to the sewers and I'll meet you guys there in a little bit. Hold on. It's right here. Now, just ignore the spin. You see this little hole right here? Well, actually, I think I might have to take those guys out. Maybe not. First, you go all the way down here and just jump. And then you get pretty lucky badge. When Mario's attack it sometimes allows enemies to miss so it's actually a pretty good badge to get this early in the game and another one similar to that is close call where when Mario's in danger he will you know uh, enemies might miss so in this case right now it's like a slight chance that enemies might miss their attack so it's actually pretty good to get right now so I guess I'll meet you guys back in Rogueport okay we're back now, what we want to do first is save because, you know, you never know what the outcome of a battle will be. And we're going to take on a little mini side boss. And hopefully it'll come out good. Maybe not. Who knows? This is all for the LP, you know. If we go over here, right, there's this troll near Professor Franklin's house. This guy. Whoa, whoa. Hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, the head of the robos. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. Fine, I'll pay. I'm not paying. I could take this guy. What? You've got to be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm going to make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. All right, bro. <laughs> and, well, first thing I'm going to do is just hammer him. Because he's holding the spear. And, well, we don't have any information on Gus. Gus. Stereotypical henchman. Gus, super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. See, I thought that said trolls for a minute. 20, attack 3, defense 0. He's pretty tough. Yeah, some side information. Whoa, I guess he does a little too much there. Well, actually, I'll switch to Goombella because she can actually defend. And that'll take less of a hit on both of us. And while that's happening, I'll hammer away at him. One, two, three. Make it rain. Ah, that's cheap. Yeah, I think this will be over soon. Just have Goombella defend. And you just keep hammering away. Ha! Oh. It's not like I'm really gonna touch him. Oh, damn. Oh, man, I missed the guard. And just basically rinse and repeat. Oh, I ran out of FP. Alright, I'll just normal hammer him this time. Okay, just defend this. Alright, let's see what you got. I need flowers. Okay, and health. I'll be nice. Yeah, after all, Gumbella is defending me, so. Oh! Almost hit it. Ha! That dude's done. Oh! Cheap. He's really laughing at me right now, like, I'm really about to destroy him. Let's go. Ooh, ha ha, I win. And look at that. 22. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff, it's ridiculous. 
You think violence solves everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? Yeah. Get out of here. Troll. Alright, now we can access this side. But, there's not really much to do on this side, so I guess I'll just go to the next part of our quest, which would be to go to Petal Meadows. And, no, I'm not gonna save, because... Actually... Yeah, I'm not gonna save. I'll be fine. Okay, fine, I'll save. I think I have a good enough amount of health. Oh yeah, this we're gonna have to do this thing again. All right. Yeah, tentacle. Hmm. It's kind of soggy. Whack it. Okay. Question mark. What the? Okay. That was his foot? Yeah, I got Moxie. I ain't saucy. Oh, you think I'm in for a world of hurt? Tentacle trample. No, I don't remember what, frankly, well, what that professor told us. Oh. Not really. I don't really care. Alright. Get out of here. Oh, I messed up. Okay, let's just see how much you got. That helped. And really super humongous one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't care. 12, attack 1, 0. Alright. Oh. Oh, oh, he just tentacle slapped me. Oh, you know what? Bam. There we go. Get that out of here. Alright, that's fine. Ah, oh, I can't block that. That's that's crazy. Alright, you know what? You, you just attack him. I'll wrap him up. Yeah. Defenseless. Oh, no FP. Oh. oh, that's not cool. I'll just do what I can. Alright, well, at least I'm doing nicely against him. Let's build up that flower points. Great. Um, alright. Let's keep doing that. Do I really need it? Nah, I'm doing pretty well. Oh, he's defying the laws of- Oh! Yeah. No, no, no. I need the final hit. No. Hammer time. Yeah. Get out of here. 20. All right. Yeah, you better bloop out of here. Never that blooper. Blooping everything up. Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> Alright. Oh yeah, if you'll notice, because Mario's weak, he'll actually do a little animation. But back in the days of the original Paper Mario, he didn't do anything. So, that's just a little new feature. And now we're heading off to Petal Meadows. Chapter 1 Castle and Dragon <laughs> Awesome music Petal Meadows Well here we are, the Petal Meadows where folks say the crystal star hides Of course this is awesome Oh, and he's tired. Okay. Hit this tree. Star piece. Right off the bat. And a mushroom. I think I might just eat that mushroom because Mario looking a little tired. The only thing I didn't like about... Well, I didn't really understand about the game is that in Paper Mario, you, when you ate something, you actually physically ate it. But they took that away in this game, so... I don't know. Dragon.
What was that? A Skyrim reference. That's what it was. Mario want to play Skyrim. Fuss Roda. You know what else? Nah, nah, I, I doubt it. She's intrigued by a gigantic dragon? I mean... Ah, whatever. Nothing in that tree. Okay. I'm gonna be whacking trees for days. Yep, I struck first. I don't know if I should really skip all these battles or not, but, you know, for now, I guess I'll just keep going with them. Check this out. Close call. When Mario's in danger, it causes enemy to sometimes miss. Well, combined with that, and if I was in danger with Pretty Lucky, I actually might have just dodged almost every hit then. Wow. Wow, this makes no sense. You can't hammer a Paragoomba. What did I just do? Continuity. Almost there. Hopefully we'll reach 100 points. Star points soon. Well, in Mario, you always got pipes. Ah! Reach! Ah, forget it. Oh, I gotta kill this guy. You got a sleepy sheep. Try to put me to sleep. I need to be put to sleep. I wish I could jump on him. That'd be the day. Alright. Two stars. And now we've just leveled up. Now, when you level up, it's awesome. You get to choose between three different types of power ups uh, health, flower points, and badges. Now, you can try and organize these to make it so that these are even or something like that, but me, I'm gonna go with badges first because I like badges. And then eventually I'll upgrade flowers and then hearts, and then I'll just do that for the rest of the Let's Play. And if I ever mess up on that order, please feel free to note in the comments. And I got Sleepy Sheep from that battle, so... We're gonna be needing this. What? I guess, but I'm, I doubt I'll need your advice, Mubella. Alright. Just continuing on. Beating up enemies on the way. This is actually a challenge, because there's more than one enemy here. Right here. Oh no 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 no! Ah, oh, come on. Of course. Of course. Okay. Yeah, retribution. Alright guys, I guess I'm going to stop the Let's Play here, so next time on the next episode, we'll probably continue through trying to get to the Petalberg. Alright, okay later.